Hey everyone. Okay, so um, first I'm gonna try and record with this with the uh, camera mic because the other one was kind of cutting off apparently in my last video. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Um, anyway, I just wanna try that. Uh, try this out and see how that works. Uh, yeah, I know. I've been still waiting to move it away from the AC. Just turned it off though for a little bit. Anyway, I just want to jump into this. Uh, anyway, I love how this guy's talking about, oh, I'm going to try and impeach Trump, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, first of all, I'm not saying Trump is my hero, by no means, but for the love of God, it, it, it reminds me, I guess it reminds me of what they're right when they were trying to push for, you know, the Obama impeachment out every time. Oh, this is going to get him impeached. This is going to get impeached. Oh, we're going to vote to get him impeached. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, come on. But for, for 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 this guy to try and make this on his campaign, his main thing of why we should elect him into Senate, that's it? I mean, is that one of your biggest things, really? Oh, aside from allowing the illegals, from, uh, what was it, the debates, I love that part with the, oh, we need, you know, the debates, yeah, we need to allow this man to do, or be in office because of, oh, you know, illegals aren't that bad blah 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 bullshit we're gonna look into that really quick actually and this is another reason why I don't support this guy so let's hop in on this one here we go first of all let me say yes there is a majority of American citizens who are in prison I admit this it's just in this very thing and I'll go up to it just because here we go US citizens uh, and criminal aliens majority yes American citizens but what does he say in his debate Oh, it was a safe place and where he, you know, where he lives and all that. And I'll probably have to play that at the end of this. Anyway, country citizenship for criminal aliens incarcerated in federal prisons of as of December 2010: Guatemala, one percent; Honduras, two percent; El Salvador, two percent; Jamaica, two percent; Cuba, three percent; Dominican Republic, five percent; Colombia, five percent; remaining 172 countries. Jesus, ten percent. 172 countries, uh, wherever they are. Illegally, 10%. Mexico, 68%. Tells me maybe Trump's onto something when he says they're sending over their criminals, their rapists, and the drug dealers, and so on. Again, I'm not a big fan of Trump, but holy shit. <laughs> when you're making up 68% of the people in prison. Keep in mind, here we are. Uh, Gal.gov, whatever the hell Gal stands for, I, I forget. I'll be linking these, I'm going to have to anyway. Here we go. Illegal immigration state law and deterrence. This is a SB 20 or SB 1070, I believe. That was done by George uh, Aparo, whatever the guy in Arizona, the one who was, you know, racist and hated Mexican people and was, you know, uh, I don't, I don't remember every all the BS they gave him. But okay, and it talks about the PDF. So anyway, let's go look at this PDF. Here we go. First of all, if you, from what I understand about the bill, I haven't been able to read all of it. It was in no way vague. It was, if they can't speak English, check and see if they have an American ID, if they have a state ID. If, because I, I used to run into this at a, or back when I worked at a pharmacy. There was people who would go in there and I'd ask, have to ask them to see their ID and they would get scared. They would look at me. I had to check their ID because sometimes they'd be trying to buy alcohol. They had a Mexico, Mexico ID. And I would refuse to sell it to them, even though I knew they were of Asian, but that was just me being an asshole. You want to call me a racist? Fine. I don't care. Fuck it. I did that on purpose because I knew. And then I was like, oh, I had to cancel this to you legally. And my boss would be like, oh, you know who was OG? Yeah, but federal law states, I had to check them if they're under, uh, or federal state law says I had to check them if they're younger than 55, and they have to have a state ID. He has a foreign ID. I couldn't legally sell it to him. If you want to break federal law, go for it. They back away. <laughs> So, that was my fun on that one. But anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, here we go. Yes, I was an asshole. Still am. But uh, anyway, uh, here we go. As we can see, if we look at, where is it, Arizona? Other states. Ooh. Let's follow that. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. SB uh, 1070. Taken away. It basically just made it to where illegals did not get benefits. They weren't allowed to go on uh, unemployment. They weren't allowed to get welfare. They weren't allowed to get uh, free meals in school. Stuff like that. I don't even think they were allowed to get government housing. They were allowed nothing. They got nothing for contributing nothing. And boom! Drop. Where does it go? We see a spike in other states. Uh, proportion of the workers migrants from Mexico to Arizona. Proportion of the workers migrants from Mexico to Arizona. 
is still showing the drop here. What, what was this? Down to 5%. Down to 5%. This is something every state needs to do. I would so vote for it. No joke. Ted Cruz, if you it, do this, I will put some Tabasco sauce on the dick and suck it. Because holy shit, I want this. I don't give a shit. I will put my country first. I will put my state first. Well, maybe not my state. Yeah, I guess so. You get what I mean. Obviously, I care about other people. However, financially, economically, I cannot feed the world. I cannot feed the country. I can barely even... I wouldn't even be able to feed my own state. However, there's more of a chance of taking care of my own... Sorry, I can hear my neighbors. Uh, there's more of a chance of being able to take care of my own city than my own state. There's more of a chance of me being able to take care of my own state than there is of my own country. And vice versa. And, and not vice versa, sorry. And so on. Uh, there's only so much financially you can do. I do my donations, people. I've seen my videos, so don't even try and act like I'm some heartless motherfucker. No, I just realize there's reality to the world, and I can't. People can't. No matter how many people you have, you can't do it all. It'd be nice, but it's just not possible. Anyway, so it's funny because it's oh, they're hard workers, they just want to contribute and all this other. Stuff. Then why is it when uh, we just stop? When the state says, okay, we're gonna stop getting free shit. All of a sudden, they stop going. If you're there just to actually, you know, looking for a better life to create, you know, to find a job and you want to do it legally, paying taxes and so on, you wouldn't be skipping out on the state that says, hey, we're taking away your free stuff unless you actually have a job legally where you have to pay taxes. Odds are there'd be more of them. It would probably would have stayed about the middle at least. Maybe dropped a little because, you know, you do, there are freeloaders. It's, that's nature. That's human nature. Not this shit. Not down to about five percent. Other than to stop going there because they stop getting free stuff, I find that a little questionable. I'm just saying. But anyway, illegal migrants crime by numbers. Let's see. Ooh, I love it. Uh, Mountain Democrat. So uh, then I'm assuming, and this is right here from California. I think that's Mountain Democrat. Yeah, that yeah, can't count. Sorry guys. Anyway, I hope, sorry about the dog. Illegal immigration by the numbers. The top of crime, let's see. Uh, it goes on about the gal numbers. Let's see, 1.7 million times the average, about seven arrests per person. Oh, I'm sorry, based on the gal uh, sample of criminal immigrants and the estimate that the study of population of these 200, uh, 249,000 criminals had actually been previously arrested around 1.7 million times the average, about seven arrests per person. That translated to a half a million drug-related offenses, 70,000 70, 70, sexual offenses, 213,000 assaults, 125,000 arrests for uh, larceny, no, oh, larceny theft, 25,000 uh, homicides. Jesus. The makeup of, these, of those criminals, immigration, immigrants incarcerated in federal prison, 68% were citizens of Mexico. And almost 90% were from the seven Latin American countries, Mexico, Colombia, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Cuba, and Dominican Republic. So again, this right here, something for Democrats based in California. Um, like I said, I try and keep things unbiased. Going to a group who I know would most likely want to disagree with me. I would say, no, like, again, they, they could be right leaning, I just don't know it. I'll admit that. Anyway. Department of Justice releases data on incarceration rates of illegal immigrants. And this is from The Hill. Sorry, that thing is blocking. Go away. The Hill. And it agrees with me, so it must be unbiased. Uh, according to the agency, data immigration orders have been used for 54.2%, about 22,541. Uh, sorry. Of the remaining 41,554 incarcerated immigrants, another 33.4%. About one, oh Jesus, 13,886 inmates are under investigation by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement for a possible removal. The Justice Department said that 12.3% or 5,101 of the illegal immigrants behind bars are still waiting. Uh, yeah, adjudication uh, and 26 have been granted relief because they risk persecution or serious harm if they are deported. I'm sorry, someone commits, if they've been committed a violent crime, they should be sent back. Doesn't matter what's going to happen to them. Something like, hey man, you're here illegally, we caught you. 
okay, fine, I guess, find this shadow. I'm like, hey, here's a process you gotta go through. You either start this process or go back. Something like that. I'm sorry. Call me, say what you want, but I don't... Again, I'm not gonna give a shit. Anyway. I'm just kidding, guys. Just because it was unbiased doesn't mean anything. This is the exact same one that Gal.gov... Oh, no, wait. Shh. No, it's not. I apologize. I skipped a beat. Here we go, the Department of Justice. Uh, let's see. The illegal... Uh, let's see. Uh, June 7th, 2018, Department of Justice released the uh, fiscal year 2018, the first quarter alien incarceration report complying with this order. The report found that more than one in five of all prisons, uh, persons in Bureau of Prison Custodies were known or suspected aliens. 93% were confirmed aliens in Department of Justice custody were in the United States unlawfully. So this basically just breaks down to the exact same thing that I was saying before. I just wanted to do a little crappy joke. It didn't didn't come out that well, but you know, whatever. Uh, God, that dog. A total of 55,820 known or suspected aliens were in the in, in at the Department of Justice custody the, at the end of the fiscal year. Uh, let's see... Okay, just goes in, blah, do same thing about what I read already. Among the 42,284 confirmed aliens, 39,413 people, 93% were unlawful present. These numbers included a 62% unlawful rate among the 38,132 known or suspected aliens in the Department of uh, BOP. I don't quite know what that is, sorry. Approximately 16,200... 33 aliens in the USMS custody required housing in state, local, and private facilities, which cost what is that almost two million a day? Two billion a day? Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, that boom boom. Anyway, as we can see, expensive as shit to allow them to be here. Uh, let's see. Estimate state costs for a medicated or medicaid yeah, medicated emergency service provided to illegal aliens in California. Dollars in millions. Four hundred million. State of California revised version. Three hundred and ninety-five million. Let's go let's kinda go down here. Let's see. The estimate state cost of adult incarceration for illegal aliens in California. Uh let's see. Oh, sorry, here we go. Total cost for adult illegal for adult illegal aliens in millions, three hundred and seventy six million. Revised four hundred and twenty four million. Fiscal impact study three hundred and sixty eight million. Adjustment adjusted estimate estimate three hundred and sixty million. So either way, let's three hundred and sixty million. 360 million, and then that's the whole thing. But what does he say? Oh, they're good for the economy. They make places better. There's, you know, blah de blah. I mean, <laughs> how full of shit do you gotta be for that? AP private prisons profit from illegal immigration. Immigrants, I'm sorry, CBS News. Again, not exactly a right leaning publication. But, private prisons profit off illegal alien immigrants. But I I'm sure. Beto Reark, Reark doesn't care, or doesn't, he must have a problem with that, right? I mean, hey, there's nothing wrong with illegals, it's just, you know, you're gonna make some money off them, right? Make some fat stacks of cash, I wish, I kind of wonder if he makes any money off of that now. I can't say for sure, but that would explain why he wants them here so bad. Put some money into that, boom, you know, here you go. Let's see, uh, uh, administrating justice for criminal aliens costs and taxpayers dearly. Federation for American Immigration Reform. Now, again, this could be, hey, we want tighter things, or this could be, we want looser. I don't know, I admit, I don't know where, which way this swings. The estimate cost of incarceration of these criminal aliens in the federal level is estimated to 1.5 to 1.6 billion per year. That cost includes expansion of the federal prison system and the amount of money paid to state and local detention facilities in the state of criminal alien assist assistance program. It does not include the cost of incarceration at the state and local level, nor does it include the related local cost of policing and judicial system related to the law enforcement against criminal aliens. Our fiscal cost study is in 2010 estimated administration of justice costs on the federal level related to criminal aliens at 7.8 billion annually. 
and comparable cost to the state and local government was 8.7 billion. Jesus Christ, these fucking illegals cost so much money. But Trump is the one he says is a problem because Trump is a racist. So, again, I want to sit there. This is the other reason why, because on his list of things, uh, he basically just also wants to, you know, put immigration reform and make it easier for them to come in. So, I mean, oh, why? Why? You want to allow more illegals in here? And I'm probably going to have to take a screenshot and, and put that on there from his website. But I just find that crap so, so hypocritical of, oh, you know, they, they, you know, they make things, they make things safer. I feel safe in, even though there's plenty of them. Fuck you, man. I'm not voting for this asshole. There's plenty of things here I don't like about, you know, Ted Cruz, but I sure as fuck don't like this guy. And they're gonna cost a shit ton more money. No, I'm sorry. Let's copy SB 1070, like the, you know, almost word for word, like for the the Arizona one, and bring it here. I would love that. I would vote for that in an instant. Because I don't care about, you know, some illegal wants to come in and commit crimes. I'm sorry. You want to come over here and leech and mooch off of stuff? Fine. You can get lost. If you really hate this process, it's too expensive, it's too hard, I'm going to come in, maybe I can get some work and do something. I'm not going to leech off of everybody. I'm not a criminal. Fine, I mean, I like you that much. Or I may not like what you're doing that much, but or the fact that you came in illegally, but fine, I'll tolerate that. That's awesome. You're coming in, you're, you're at least working an honest job, you're not doing anything, and you're sure as hell aren't leeching off of anything because you came knowing you're not going to leech off of anything. And hey, at least then if you came up asking me for money, I wouldn't be a dickhead and tell you to no. You know, I'd be like, okay, what can I spare? But you're going to come in, you're going to sit there with your, you know, I see you with the brand new fucking galaxy phone or some shit because i used to see this you know brand new phones whatever it was that year sitting there whipping at your ebt card fuck that shit man i'm sorry anyway tell me what you guys think like comment subscribe uh, agree with me don't agree with me uh and i'll see y'all next time y'all take care in el paso texas uh one half of the largest binational community on the border the, the defining border community we care about our kids safety i care about the safety of those that I represent in Congress. I care about the safety of every single person in the state of Texas. El Paso, in fact, is one of, if not the safest cities in the United States of America. It's because we have world-class law enforcement, police and sheriff's deputies, but it's also because we are a city of immigrants. A quarter of those that I represent were born in a country, another country, chose us, came here to this country, and by their very presence, made it better.